मेडिकल स्कूल इज ऑल अबाउट बेसिक्स कंसेप्ट केस स्टडीज रिपोर्ट राइटिंग केस प्रेजेंटेशन एंड द एंडलेस साउंड ऑफ टर्निंग पेजेस ऑफ बुक्स एंड पेन क्लिकिंग नो बडी इज एक्सेलेंट लर्निंग प्रैक्टिसिंग गेटिंग बेटर ईच टाइम दिस इज वॉट मेडिकल स्कूल इज ऑल अबाउट वॉज अ वेरी प्रोडक्टिव मॉर्निंग my alarm rang at 5 am and i woke up at 5 am or so i want to say but then i turned off that alarm and slept and now i woke up straight at 9:30 i think i'll continue with medicine with neurology because that's a topic i haven't touched in a while come on it's a new day five days left for exam let's do our best students you do not study to pass the test you study to prepare for the day when you are the only thing between the patient and the grave i used to believe in this quote but right now the truth is i am studying to pass my test no matter how much i read i just can't seem to finish my syllabus and that scares me and i go to sleep i finished reading kidney and before starting neurology i was taking my well deserved nap when the message came that i need to go to the college and fill the exam forms now Let's go. But sometimes the sleep needs to wait. Filling the exam form is the last thing that I'll do in final year in BBS student section. So I want to be fully prepared. Mark sheet done, passport size photos done, admission receipts taken. I'll just get the phone call and go and take the form and fill it and then submit it. That's all. I got the form from the college. Then me and my friend gathered at Anu's place to fill it up. We had some time to spare, so we played guess the disease because that's what medicos do when they are bored. Mm, could be axial. Could be appendicular. Could be what the? F- <laughs> okay, uh, a fracture. I don't know what that means. No, it's not a fracture. <laughs> a tumor. Mm-hmm. Infection. Mm-hmm. Uh, secondaries. Mm-hmm. Acute. No. no. Chronic. Yes. नंबर <laughs> डिपोजिशन ऑफ यूरिक हार्डनेस ऑफ बोन चेंजेस The fun time was over and it was time to go and study. And I'm back and I'm going out again. That's just how it goes for me. Gym miss nahi kar sakte na. You may think that getting into MBBS means you will have no time for your hobbies. That's not true. With proper time management, you can go for a game or gym or whatever hobby you want to pursue i have found out through experience that working out for 4 to 5 hours a week is a good escape from stress and you can study better with a healthy mind and body so it's a win win today i'm going to try finishing cns neurology this in itself needs a special mention because neurology is hard at least for me it's hard so today's target is making it easy and remembering it for ever I'm going to use medicine bolor for studying neurology. Following the same steps, I'm going to first mark IMPs inside the textbook so that it's easier to read. It took me an hour to find and mark all the important topics. Then it was time to actually start reading. So I started with reading stroke, the most common case in practical exam and the most important question that can be asked. 
For some reason, I thought it would be a great idea if I write and learn it all. With the exam in just a few days, that's a bad use of time. I realized it in the first few pages itself, so I stopped writing and focused on reading only. The next morning, I was watching lecture of Dr. Archit Polor himself on the White Army about stroke. I finally finished the topic once and for all and then went out for a fresh look. Exam dene jana hai yaar. I need to look more presentable. I am called in the college in like 10 minutes to find for pediatrics. Come on, give us a little more time. So, effectively I have 6 minutes left and I'm going now. Ready? Mission accomplished finally. It took me around 15 minutes only. <sighs> so, I'm finally back. I gave the form to the class representative that is cr of the batch and he will uh, take all the forms of the batch and then he'll go to the hod's chamber and then he'll get the signature that's how it works at least for pediatric department let's see what other departments ask us for the best part about having room so close to the college is that i can come back and read and that's what i'm going to do in the morning i was watching stroke lecture and i'm going to finish it last half an hour left i guess and then i'm going to read stroke because last night i tried reading it and whoosh, nothing got in my head that's what happens when you don't revise in a while let's go when you get disturbed every now and then like this the link to your studies gets broken and if you are reading a complex topic like stroke it gets even harder to understand but there's a mind hack for it make sure you keep your table and books exactly as it was before the disturbance that way your brain will link that surrounding to your studies and you'll be back in study mode again the lecture is officially done for me i had to watch it a few more times you know a few parts that i got confused with but bolor sir was super i suggest every one of you if you need to understand stroke go watch that video and now i got called again in college this time by obscan department to get the signature so off we go do you want a glimpse of it first we collect the form from the cr of the batch it usually happens in front of the hostel that's when all the batches together so it's fun next we walk to the department and stand in the queue waiting for a chance for signature the queue is rather long very long and it is to be expected when all 200 of us are gathered here so it takes a lot of time so all day today i was busy with the form so i am getting a bit sleepy and i don't feel like going to gym for at least half an hour more and you know i got a mic and i have the setup ready so why not record a video everyone deserves a break after a long day of standing in the queue and reading stroke and what's better than doing what you love i love making these videos and i love reading your comments too make sure you are subscribed and i will make sure i keep making better and better videos afterwards following the routine i went to gym it made me really tired keeping the gym routine going is seriously taking a toll but i feel like i'm getting stronger and my stamina is increasing bit by bit so <laughs> it's good later that night it was my roommate's birthday we got cake for him and celebrated then i was back to the grind reading about the 17 syndromes in the medulla of the brain and a thousand more signs and symptoms of different types of strokes in different parts of the brain i don't think it was the best use of my time because in long term i don't remember any of it finally i am 3 days close to the exam which is very close and i don't know how i'm going to finish it so for now my target is to finish as much as i can of surgery and medicine too i guess today surgery will be top priority but i'll be alternating subjects because i get bored with one very easily and that is going to be a problem i need to study quite hard i have a few holidays in between the exam so like pediatrics it is two days holidays i can cover it there i am done with gynecology already obstetrics i think i can make it by reading notes on the day before the exam i have a problem with surgery although i gave a quiz so i am a bit confident about it but still i am going to revise it today medicine i have a holiday for medicine too and my plan is to start medicine one from tomorrow for two days so that's how my plan will be today is the last free day where i plan to finish and call ground as much surgery as possible all the best to me i need to focus on the main important topics now everything else will be ignored only 3 days left and i have so much left to do 
आई वंडर इफ द टेक्सट बुक इज टू बिग और आई एम रीडिंग टू स्लो इधर वे इट इज क्लियर दैट आई कैन नॉट फिनिश द सिलेबस ऑन टाइम आई नीड टू बी स्मार्ट एंड यूज द एटी ट्वेंटी रूल दैट इज आई विल फोकस ऑन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द चैप्टर्स दैट विल कवर एटी परसेंट ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन डेज पास ऑन लाइक दिस एंड आई कैप्ट ऑन ट्राइंग टू रीड आई कुड बेरली फिनिश ऑब्सटेट्रिक्स I was also able to read surgery gastrointestinal system which should be considered a subject by itself. It was midnight 2nd December. My time was up. I had exactly 32 hours left for my medicine preliminary exams. I started with noting down the syllabus so that I can figure out my missed topics and read only that. The syllabus seems a bit too big. Leaving medicine to God may not be the right option after all. Not me, but everyone is going to face it, right? So it's all right. I can do it. You know, saying these little things, little affirmations to myself, have made me a bit more confident in myself and my abilities in studies. That's what keeps me going. So every time you face a challenge, just keep repeating with yourself, "It's all right. I can do it." and the fact that you have actually survived all your bad days will prove that you can actually actually do it all the best to me for tomorrow good night good morning it's one day before the exam cannot slack off today i decided to continue my morning routine of going out and drinking tea and the doggies were there to meet me too now that's what i call a perfect morning i did change one thing though i stopped going to gym from now on i am going to use as much time as i can on studies i also changed the resource for my studies more than 1000 pages of the textbook are not my cup of tea they are like slow poison for me so i am going to go back and read my notes i have read them tens of times so they are easier to retain and remember lastly i changed my study technique No Just more pen and paper. Only verbal revisions, like I used to do in the first standard. It's one thirty in the afternoon. I am done with diabetes. I know it's a small chapter. It's so insignificant compared to this whole syllabus that I should not celebrate. But diabetes is one of the most important topics that I think will be present in medicine. One I am peace. So, one done. I feel so stupid now because I take the cardiovascular system instead of diabetes. I guess that shows my anxiety level. Problem is that the syllabus is so so vast that I have barely made a dent in it. क्या करें? करना तो पड़ेगा. Let's next go and try HIV. You know what? HIV can wait. I'll first get my lunch done, and I think my brain deserves some reward. for treating diabetes so quickly i still have time i can do it stay positive i wish i had time but i did not so i got back i started reading and got sleepy thought i'd take a power nap of 20 minutes and now it's 6 o'clock hiv is waiting no matter how you see it it is impossible There is no way to finish the syllabus. Deep down, I know it too. Every neuron in my brain wants to quit. It was eight o'clock. I was about to succumb to the pressure when I thought, "Let's eliminate the things that I know on the past knowledge. I need to feel like I have accomplished something. I need to get a little motivation back." And crossing these topics is my last-ditch effort to reduce my burden of syllabus. कैसे करेंगे यार मेडिसिन वाले? It was a college exam. I thought to myself. It is not necessary to score good marks, but it is very necessary to pass. See that whiteboard? I cannot finish all of it, no matter how much I try. So, strategically, I am going to finish the most important topics that are most likely to be asked first, so that I have more chances of writing things. So, my plan is to finish a little of snake bite, CVS, endocrine. That's still a lot to go for, though. कर लेंगे. Sometimes you fight back not because you think you can win. but because you need to be able to look back later and say i fought and that is what i will aim for i tried to stay positive but it doesn't work for long i wish i had started studying earlier 
I cannot handle it all. Maybe that's why I started talking nonsense things like this. So I was reading pericardial effusion. It is one of the important long answer questions in cardiovascular medicine. And then I found something that I love a lot. See, Oreo cookie sign. And now I want to drink Oreo shake. Still half of CVS left. I'm just going to take a break now. Refreshing break, careful thinking, and elimination. I have decided that just see for yourself. I plan to eliminate all these topics so that I'm left with just four of them. That is half of cardiology, endocrinology, um, hematology, and transfusion medicine, and infectious diseases. I know they are a lot, but that is something doable tonight, I guess. So this is the plan. Poisoning innovation, Kali Padliya tha, acute medicine and critical care, to bhai hypertension and shock hai, to ye par leak sakte, clinical biochemistry and metabolic medicines are something, I know I can write it based on memory, hyperentry, hyperentry mein stuff, um, gastroenterology, hepatology, surgery mein par liya hai, I think I can write it based on that, so, kar lenge, koi baat nahi. Reading those four chapters still meant that I need to stay awake at night. The cold wind hitting my face and the hot cup of tea calmed me down quite a bit. I was ready to face my fears again. Welcome to session 2 of my studying medicine after having a drakki chai and getting a bit of fresh mind. Let's start again. CVS, endocrinology, infectious diseases and hematology. It's what time is it? It's 10:30, 10:40. Let's finish as much as we can. I should not feel stressed about these little things. I cannot be stressed over an exam or a subject. I have to do it. I can do it. I have a dream. Dream of becoming a ray of hope for people. That white coat belongs to me. I refuse to quit. I refuse to give up because we don't do that here in med school. With this motivation, I was faster than ever with my studies. But human body has a limit too. It was 2 o'clock at night when I thought enough is enough. Now I'm done. Not done with reading but done with studies altogether. Paper is at 10 o'clock tomorrow. It's, let's sleep. Joga dekha jayega. Good night. Good morning. Last three topics of medicine. One still left. I am so sleepy. So, so sleepy. This is a lesser known part of medical student life. We are never fully prepared for exam. Jitna bhi try kar lo abhi jit. Syllabus mein kuch na kuch to chute gai. To jaha hai, wahi se exam dete hai.